Okay, something does feel a little bit off here. Something is not right. Let's click the fingers. Okay, welcome back to Tech Dundee. This is going to be a live stream I'm going to do for you guys. We're just going to report on some hot news. So the recent hot news is that NVIDIA, well actually two stories with NVIDIA. Now this is very important because used PC parts hunters and also people looking to get new graphics cards will unite on this news because we want new graphics cards. The new stuff, it makes the used stuff cheaper. The new stuff, of course, also makes the new stuff better. So biggest article though, we'll talk about the new release a little bit later. Biggest article we have up here first off is the GTX 1050 is getting renamed to the GTX 1050. And now NVIDIA have done this in the past with the GT 1030. And so what we've seen here is a uh, nerfed version of the GT 1030. Now, I didn't really care about this too much because I didn't really recommend the GT 1030 to many people. It was a card that I really only saw viable to people who had, for instance, a small form factor Dell or a small form factor HP PC. And it was like, okay, you can still use that crappy power supply, but you can get some performance and play games. Like if it was an i5-2400 or something. But in terms of everything else, if you're in the use scene, a GTX 750 Ti was a much better choice. It was a better, whole, different story altogether. But now they're doing this again. So we're going to pull up the articles again. So this time around, I mean, the GT 1030, it cost pretty much exactly the same as the GT 1030, except it had a nerfed uh, GDR4 memory as opposed to GDR5 memory. This time around, they're doing the same thing with the uh, GTX 1050, but it's very odd. They're giving it in one extra gigabyte of VRAM. So we're going from two gigabytes to three gigabytes. And we've got now a nerfed bit bus for the memory. But we've got a higher boost clock and base clock than the GTX 1050 Ti. So this is one of those stories where you're looking at it and you're like, okay, my GTX 1050 could perform better than my GTX 1050, but it could also be performing less than my GTX 1050, but sometimes it could outperform the GTX 1050 Ti. It's really confusing this whole naming scheme in video. And like I, like I said before, I ignored it with the GT 1030, but this time around it's happened again with the GTX 1050. And the worst thing is in the past, you guys have gotten this right on the money. Like here it is here, the 88 series, I mean the 8800 series, there was four different names for the same card essentially. So you guys know how to name your cards, but this time around, I don't know what's going on. We've got a GTX 1060, two variants. We've got a GT 1030, which could have easily been renamed to a GT 1020 or something. And this time around, you could have renamed the GTX 1050 to the GTX 1050 uh, Boost or something. Uh, so what we've got is a little bit of a worrying scene here, right? Because it's a 96 bit now, bit wide on the memory. So it's like they've knocked out a channel on the memory here from the 1050 Ti. And of course, with maturation, they're seeing, uh, you know, higher clock speeds for the 1050 Ti. So this time around, it does look like it overall will be a better thing for the tech community. It looks like you're going to get better performance out of this car, but it's right around the corner from what appears to be a rumored release of the GTX 1180 and 1170. Now we know this has been coming for a while because apparently someone at Tom's Hardware, uh, Igor, uh, from the Germany division, they spoke with insiders and they got the scoop. And apparently what is going on here is that we're going to see these cards being released in mid-July. And then of course the uh, add-in board partners, they're going to get it in August and September and release those custom models for you guys. But uh, also, June 15th is when they expect the uh, add-in board partners to get the actual memory add-in and the actual GPU dies themselves so they can start making these custom boards. In terms of an announcement, though, you're probably thinking, okay, when's this going to be announced? Uh, it could be announced at GTC Taiwan. That's actually before Computex. Computex is from uh, June 5th. And at Computex itself, NVIDIA don't actually have a dedicated press uh, release at Computex, I believe. So we're looking at here, they've got an AI session and future trends, but they do have GTC Taiwan. And in the past, 
they have uh, announced new Gravis cards at GTC or GDC, I think. So it's interesting to see what they're going to do. What do you guys think in the comments? Do you think NVIDIA is going to take down DTV? Do you think uh, NVIDIA is going to release these cards as they say? Because I believe they're at a point now where they have to release these Gravis cards. Because if they don't, it's not good for business. So at the stage where they at least have to refresh them. And in terms of specs, what we're looking at here with the uh, GTX uh, 1180 is pretty much the same CUDA cores as the 1080 Ti, but you're going to see a more efficient card. So it's on 12 nanometer as opposed to 16 nanometer. And you've also got GDDR6, which itself is going to be more efficient than GDDR5X. And now they've also, the, and again, guys, these are rumored specs. Nothing's concrete here, but it does look pretty solid. And we've got here the GTX 1170, which is rumored to have 2688 CUDA cores. So there's a big cut down this time around, if this is true, from the 1180 to the 1170. Big cut down. But of course, it's still going to be uh, probably, it's going to be a lot more powerful than a 1080 but it'll still be probably not as powerful as a 1080 Ti. That's just my predictions. So what do you guys think? Do you think we are in for some good news in the next couple of months, at least with the graphics cards? Are you guys personally gonna be selling your 10 series cards soon? And also, what do you think about this naming scheme? I just think it's not a good thing when Nvidia is sort of releasing the same name on the graphics cards and you're kind of a bit confused as to what's going on. So as I said before, you could have a same card beating the same card but then losing and beating the same card in a different game very weird but anyway guys we're going to go to live chat yes i am live streaming this it is a little bit weird <laughs> because i've got to uh, do this whole event uh, select an event so we'll go over and see if live chat's cracking but yes we are live streaming this new news segment and we've got some news builds coming soon so stay tuned for that and i hope you guys enjoy this kind of little uh, news segment I have set up the light desk. You can see my head is now uh, being separated from the background because i got a new lamp here. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that little news segment. So we'll go over to the chat, quickly answer some chat, and then I'm going to get back to doing some use builds for you guys. And uh, chat's just going at each other. So anyway, uh, also I've got to announce uh, one thing as well. YouTube has introduced the new YouTube sponsors thing which is uh, very similar to Twitch's subscribe subscription thing. And I guess in ways it's kind of like, hey, you can uh, help these guys out because <laughs> YouTube itself is like, yo, AdSense might not be the best state of uh, currently. So you can help out your favorite creators by helping them by sponsoring. I mean, you do get cool like extra perks. You do get an icon next to your name. Uh, and also I will be offering the same perks as patron users. So thank you guys for watching. Also, let me know in the comment section below what you think about all this jazz. Uh, again, if you guys enjoy the live stream format, just a quick live stream for the news, especially hot topics like this, then I can keep doing them for you guys. Uh, and when are you gonna do a uh, Gelid? So cool questions come in. When am I gonna do Gelid versus Cryonaut? Uh, I will be ordering some Cryonaut and then we'll be putting it on a, I think it's a 1080 Ti or a 980 Ti. Either one of those Gravis cards is a very good comparison to com uh, compare these two thermal paste because we'll be going straight to the die, to the cooler itself. So stay tuned for that and I'll be comparing those two bad boys because we already know GC Extreme, the thermal paste, performs better than MX4. That's coming out in the wild now and I hope you guys enjoy that video too. I'll catch you guys in another tech video very soon, but this is just, yeah, pilot, completely new. Let me know what you think of the format. Uh, yeah, Tech Dundee because people keep making jokes because uh, I'm from Australia about Crocodile Dundee. So I figured we'd just call this uh, Tech Dundee TV. Anyway, guys, <laughs> hope, you, hope you enjoyed it all. Um, and I'll, I'll actually just stop the video, but I'll join in chat right now. So there it is. New segment. Love you all. Catch you in the next one. Bye.